It's a new era of Saluki men's basketball. Fans flocked to the Banterra Center yesterday to meet the new face of the team. Scott Nagy, now the 15th head coach in program history. The question now, who will play for Nagy as the dogs aim for a long-awaited return to Marsh Madness? With that, please welcome Coach Scott Nagy. You come here, you're going to be like Gene Hackman. SIU rolling out the red carpet for Scott Nagy, but instead of a house of Hoosiers, it's a Saluki sanctuary. It's been a crazy three days for, for Jamie and me, and, and we're just so thrilled to join a, a university and an athletic department with such rich, rich history. In nearly 30 years, Nagy's collected 577 wins, 18th among active coaches. He's taken South Dakota State and Wright State to multiple NCAA tournaments, something athletic director Tim Leonard wants to see again. I want to get to the point where we're challenging, right, and getting to the tournament. I don't know if we'll be able to go on a run like they did from 2002 to 2007 in today's world, right? It's much more difficult. Name, image, and likeness, or NIL, is a key factor in where tomorrow's stars will play today. The NCAA has no rule about it, but states like Illinois passed laws allowing student athletes the chance to be paid. I don't really like it. I don't think it's necessarily good for the players. Nagy believes NIL makes the game less relational and more transactional. That's why he wants to recruit athletes who want to build bonds and not just their bankrolls. We're swimming upstream a little bit in terms of what other people are doing and just jumping in a portal and trying to build their team that way. I understand that the money's important and we want to do the very best we can to take care of those needs, but there still has to be a rela relationship. There's, you can't, it just can't be transactional. Now Nagy still has to put together his coaching staff as well as a full roster. Now he's spoken with seven of eight SIU players left in the transfer portal and that closes up on May 1st.